The next two selection tools are right here, the Magic Wand tool and the Quick Selection tool. Both of these tools work in a similar fashion where they are going to try to determine what it is you are wanting to select by looking at a sample area. We'll start off with the Magic Wand tool. And I'll click right in here. This is a, a great example of Magic Wand tool use. Just click in that area. It selects everything which is similar to the spot that I clicked on. Now, you can expand or contract that selection by using the tolerance level up here. You click on that again to deselect that. I'll come in here to the rope, and I'll click in there. Now, I notice that that just gives me just a real small part of that rope, although the rope is very similar. I can expand that by increasing the tolerance. I set this to 30. Click that again, and notice how at 30, it's much more tolerant and selects a much wider range. So the larger the number in tolerance, the more it's going to grab when you use this selection tool. The default is 15, and that will work out fine for most instances. So say I wanted to grab the area here, just click inside there, hit my delete key, and that then takes care of that little selection. Does a very good job. And again, it works best if you have areas that are very, very similar. Now you also can use this to, to grab areas across the whole image that are similar by unchecking where it says contiguous. Contiguous means that all of the pixels are touching. So if you unselect that, we can then grab everything that matches this across the whole picture. In this case, as you can see, it grabs too much. So this really is not a good solution because part of what it grabs is the top of this side of the ship right there which matches that selection. So in this case, unchecking contiguous is not a good solution, but a lot of times it is. If you have something which has real nice large areas of solid color and they're in different areas across a page, using that may be an easy way to go. Let me just do a fast demonstration of that, how that works is to create a new file here. I'll set it at the default Photoshop size. That's just fine. And then let's just create some quick color areas here. Let me reset my, my settings a little bit. Let's set the feathering back to zero, just like that. Let's do normal up in here. There we go. I'm just going to paint into some of these spots, just like that. Do another one over here. I'll paint into here. So these are separate areas on the picture, but they all have the same color values. And I'll do one more right there. And then I'll just deselect that. Okay, using the magic wand again, and if I have contiguous selected, and then click on this one shape, it gives me the colors in that one shape because everything is touching. I'll click again to deselect that. If I uncheck contiguous and then click over here, notice how it selects all of those because they're all matching. So it, with that out being checked, you can select the same content across the whole image. Now you have one more option here, select all or sample all layers. Let me just demonstrate that one. I'll click in here and deselect that. Let's open our layers up. Right now we're working on just the background layer. So let me just make a couple of new layers here, like this. And actually, I'm going to do something just a little different here. Just get rid of these layers. I'll show you one thing which we're going to be coming back to it a little later on. But this is a good use for it. I have this one area here selected. Actually, I can just select this with the magic wand, and let's just un put that back on again. There we go. I'll leave that one where it is. I'll come down to this one and let's do layer new via cut. It cuts this off of the one layer and pastes it onto the next layer. It's a nice little tool to know about. Let's move this layers panel over here for a second. Come back to the background layer. I'll grab this one and then layer new via cut. Gives me a new layer over there. Come back to the background, grab our last one and layer new via cut. 
So what I've done is I have taken these four dots and simply moved those onto different layers. Okay, let's just get that out of the way again. I'll bring it up so you can see that though. Go back to our background layer, back to the magic wand, and let's uncheck contiguous. It'll, it'll check all the colors, but we're of course separated onto different layers. Right now if I click on the background, click on just the one, even though contiguous is unchecked, it's only looking on one layer. So it's giving me everything of that color on that one layer. I can demonstrate that. Let's just undo the magic wand. I'm going to back up one step here. So now I have two objects on the one layer. Magic wand, it grabs those two objects. So it's only looking at the single layer when you're working the magic wand. If you want to look at all of the layers in your document, check right here, sample all layers. So just click off and click this again. And notice it's now selecting all of those even though they're on different layers. So you can control whether or not the magic wand is looking at just one layer or all of the layers right here. And right here you can choose whether it is going to look at just pixels that are touching or pixels that are any place on the document that match. So you have those different options. Okay, let's just put that back again. There we go. See if we can actually that's just like that and collapse. There we go. And deselect that and back our other image. So that's Magic One. It's a great tool to use, really easy to use if you're selecting areas that are very similar. Now the other tool here and behind is the quick selection tool. And this acts like a paintbrush. You actually can paint into an area. If you just click an area like this, just click, it acts like the magic wand. If you click and drag like this, you actually can drag into or kind of paint into an area and it will select everything that's in that painted area. Notice right now we have an option up here and this adds to the selection. Normal, add to or subtract from. We can change that brush size. You can see the brush size right there, a little circle with a plus in the middle of it. You can change that size, this little drop down list. If you want to make a, a smaller or a larger circle, you can bring your, change your size right here. And again, you can choose to sample all layers if you want to. Auto enhance kind of cleans it up a little bit and you can refine the edge of your selection as well. So it works like the magic wand, but because you can brush into it, just like that, it maybe works just a little bit better than the magic wand does for some of these areas. It's a little bit newer tool. And that one's not quite right up there, so I'm going to go to the minus key here and I'll brush out that section in there. There we go. Kind of brush that out. And now I'll hit my delete key. And I've cleaned out those sections. So using different combinations of these different selection tools up here, the marquee tools, the lasso tools, and the different magic tools, you can very quickly go through and do a nice bit of cleanup inside of your, your image and take out unwanted areas. Let's do just a little bit more on in here. I'll use the magic wand on that section. Hit the delete key. Notice how I kind of cut in right there a little bit. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. And the magic wand cut into that rope. So let's just undo. And you can see right there it's cutting in. There's a little bit of a coloration. Actually, actually that was cut in a little bit. There we go. And you can see why there's a reflection right here off of this thing. So in this case I used the magic wand to come in and select the main area. I want to take out some of this stuff right here. So I'm going to go over here to the lasso tool and I'll choose subtract from right there. I'm just going to lasso right around that highlight area and remove that from the selection just like that. So you can use these tools in combination as well. For instance, if I want to add this little bit right here using the lasso tool and I'll go to add to selection, I'll just come down and draw a little line right around that stuff and add that into my selection. So using a combination of tools I can come in here and refine my selections. 
and then hit the delete key and clean that stuff out. Notice over here that we had a little bit of a problem right there where a previous tool actually deleted a little bit of that area and let's just deselect. I'll show you how to fix that quickly. This is going a little outside of this particular discussion but this is a nice example of a tool to use in here and that's going over here to the layers panel again. We have our saved layer down below and that's this one. I can show that layer hide the layer 3 and then I actually can copy from this layer and paste into this layer or I can move this layer up here and then come in and kind of clean up that edge a little bit from those two layers. So there are several things you can do in here by saving one of these layers. Now what I'd probably do here is I would do a little cleanup thing just come back and do a new selection using a hand tool such as the polygonal lasso tool. So I'll come to my layer 0 down here. I'm going to actually make a selection with the polygonal lasso tool. I'm just going to come way out here like this. It means I'll have to redo that part of my selection, but that's okay. So here I am. I'll do that. I'll make a new layer via copy on this. Layer new via copy. I had to unlock my selection first. There we go. Unlock that layer. Okay. And then layer new via copy. It gives me a piece right here, which is copied from that layer. I'll, I'll pull that up right below this other layer. I can hide that layer now. Bring our background in again. So I pull that up in behind here. I now can merge these two layers together. I'll hold the control key down. Select those two layers. And coming over here, right there I can merge those layers together and what that does is it takes that piece I copied from here and blends it into this section up here and I can then go back and redo that piece that I grabbed in there so I've actually copied in a repair piece from my saved layer and pasted that back into my work layer allowing me to fix that little section so you can work back and forth as well just like that using your selection tools again that's the main reason why you want to always save your image, if you're working with an image, save a, it as a backup layer just in case you need to go back and use that again for some cleanup or repair work. So there we go. That's a look then at all of these different selection tools right in here, these three selection tool sections.